Hey, what's going on guys? This is a special video. Uh, Traversy Media recently hit 50,000 subscribers and that may not be a big deal to some people, but it's huge for me. And I'm very proud of that and I'm grateful for that. So uh, I want to just say a big thank you to all my subscribers, all the people that take time out of their day to listen to me. Um, when I started doing this, I didn't plan on it reaching even this level. In fact, I didn't think anyone would really listen to me at all. Uh, but you guys have stuck with me, and you let me know that you appreciate what I give you, and that keeps me going, keeps me doing this. Um, YouTube can just be a, a cesspool of negativity and people that love to hate on other people and hate on content creators, but I somehow got the most grateful, uh, intelligent subscribers on YouTube, and I'm not just trying to butter you up. <laughs> uh, very rarely do I get any negative comments, you guys have helped my confidence level as a developer and as a content creator. And in general, uh, I've had issues with anxiety, depression, and self-confidence, things like that, all that garbage uh, my entire life. So you guys honestly have helped me with that. So I just want to give you guys a big thank you. Um, and to the people that have donated their hard-earned money to me, I'm eternally grateful for that. You help me and my family, and you show that even though you can get this for free, you appreciate it en enough to uh, see the value in it and support us anyways. So that keeps me going and um, keeps me able to, to make this content free. All right, so enough with the mushy stuff. Now I just want to talk a little bit about where we're headed. Um, but before we do that, I want to give you guys the opportunity to let me know what you want to learn next. So if you wanted to leave a comment and just kind of let me know what technologies, languages, frameworks, topics, etc. that you want to learn about, um, just let me know. And I can't promise I'll get to all of them, but if I see enough people want to learn a certain technology, then I'll make those necessary changes in, in my plans. All right. Um, Another question I wanted to ask is if you guys like the, the long crash course videos or if you would rather short broken up clips because that's something that I really I have a hard time with because I know some people like the long in-depth videos but some people have a really short attention span and they like the short clips so if you guys want to just let me know what you prefer uh, I can kind of take a, a vote. Alright so you can go ahead and do that. Um, Let's see, so upcoming crash courses, uh, we have PHP, which is going to be the next one, I believe, and the rest of these aren't in any order or anything like that, it's just some ideas that I had. Uh, Python, I want to create a crash course on the Python language, not Django or anything, just the basic language itself. Laravel, which is a PHP CMS, CMS, what the hell, it's a, a PHP framework, I was thinking about building a CMS with it is what I meant, but um, I do want to do a crash course on that. CSS3 would be a, a crash course for basically beginners learning HTML and CSS. Material Design, which is a UI framework that I want to get into, we'll do something with that. Socket.io, uh, Ajax and JSON, and then I have a list of PHP and, J and JavaScript frameworks that I want to get into. I'm just not sure which ones yet. Um, Redis, which is a NoSQL database and caching system it's really cool I want to do a crash course on that GraphQL is something I want to get into but I do need to do some more research before I can do that and then the Ruby programming language so these are just some ideas that I had for a crash course so uh, you guys can let me know what you think so for basic tutorials I want to get into Electron which will allow us to build desktop apps with JavaScript um, TurnJS which is kind of like TypeScript, it allows us to use types in JavaScript. Firebase, which is a, a cloud NoSQL database. Docker, and then other um, app deployment tools I want to get into, app deployment services, Heroku, um, DigitalOcean, I'll show you how to deploy, deploy Node.js apps and Angular apps, things like that. Front-end stuff, so I want to build some front-end templates, maybe use SAS and LESS and uh, some other tools like that. Let's see what else. Hadoop and big data is something I want to get into that I do need to do a little bit more research on. And then I also want to get into higher level stuff like Java, C++, and .NET. Um, I'm definitely not a, a pro at these languages, so this would be probably uh, entry level beginner stuff. And then again, JS, JavaScript frameworks, I have a list of those that I want to get into. 
WordPress. I want to do some stuff with WordPress. Um, you know, build a basic website, build a shopping cart, uh, build some plugins, templates, and then mobile development. So we'll do stuff like React Native, Ionic, um, what else? Meteor. Okay, Meteor is actually being used for mobile apps now. UI frameworks. I want to get into different newer UI frameworks aside from Bootstrap and uh, foundation and then video editing which is something I've never done but I've been asked recently quite a few times how I do my tutorials and what I use what software so we'll do some stuff with that and then also the yarn package manager I want to do a tutorial on that as well okay so now let's look at some project ideas so I've had a bunch of requests for Ruby on Rails 5 um, and a couple requests for a shopping cart so I think I'm gonna do that we're going to do a React Native mobile app. I do have a React Native crash course, but I don't have an actual project. Um, Vue.js, okay, I do have some Vue.js videos, but I want to do a full application with that. And then Socket.io, I do have a chat application video, but I want to do something different than chat. Okay, uh, Laravel, like I said earlier, I think I want to do a content management system with Laravel. And then I want to do some stuff with APIs. Um, you know, I have the we use the GitHub API in one of my videos, or a couple, couple of my videos, as well as Spotify. But there's a bunch of nice APIs that we can use and build some really cool stuff with. Uh, Express, Node.js, and Express, of course. Uh, I want to build a social network, probably with just PHP, but I might use a framework. I'm not sure, uh, but I do want to build a social network. Django, I'm rec I recently got into Django and I really like it, so we'll do some projects in that, which is a Python framework. And then I want to build an app with Node.js and Redis and use Redis as, as our caching system. Okay, so some basic ideas that I have for the future. I want to do some live streaming, um, do some freestyle coding live on YouTube, but I do have an issue with, um, I can't really focus on anything else when I'm coding. I, I, so it's going to be hard to try to interact so there might be limited chat uh, and interaction but I will do some live stuff and then I want to create a series probably called web, web tech spotlight or something like that where I basically take something new that just came out and talk about it and use it for five ten minutes or so just to keep you guys updated on you know what's coming out in the industry and then I want to do some stuff for um, for career help I recently did a how to find a web developer job with no experience video and you guys really like that stuff so uh, I want to do some more stuff with <coughs> excuse me with careers and jobs and so on um, giveaways so I recently did a home office tour and you guys saw that I have a bunch of stuff laying around and I want to kind of do a giveaway uh, with that stuff as well as some new stuff and then vlogging is also something that I want to get into uh, maybe go to a couple conventions or something and you know take the camera along but that's something that I just thought of I haven't really planned out alright and again if you guys have any other ideas I'd like to hear them alright so now it's pegging time um, I just created a patreon account patreon whatever however you say it um, and you guys can now provide ongoing support to this channel so if we can get enough people to donate just a, you know a couple bucks per month like a coffee per month um, I'll be able to do this full time and give you guys free education, tutorials, uh, full courses almost daily. Uh, my goal is to grow this channel to be the number one web development channel. Um, we're growing at about 500 subscribers per day, which is pretty good for a web development channel. Um, we, you know, we have kids on YouTube playing Minecraft that have 3 million subscribers. Uh, and then the web dev and educational channels get a fraction of that so that's pretty sad um, unfortunately you know there's not too many people want to actually learn stuff anymore they're more concerned with entertainment and stuff like that um, so it's just something to think about if you guys you know have watched my videos one or two times and you find it mediocre I wouldn't expect anything uh, and I don't expect anything anyways I'm just saying that I do have some uh, hardcore followers and this gives you guys an opportunity to support and get involved with the channel. Alright, and I haven't worked out the details yet, but uh, patrons will get things like private content, um, special live streaming, what else, cu coupons and, and deals for courses, things like that. Alright, so just something to think about. 
that's the link right there if you're interested and we also you know accept one-time PayPal donations so um, so enough with that uh, that's it and again I just want to thank you guys and I want to let you guys know that um, you know this channel is not going anywhere in fact I plan to just keep growing and, and give you more videos more often and you're gonna learn as I learn uh, I'm always you know learning new technologies and frameworks and languages and uh, you know as soon as I learn it I put it out there for you guys so again thank you and I will see you in the next video